Hello everybody and welcome to Covert Critter, Tactical Animal Espionage, or as I've been referring to it in my brain the past few days, uh, Metal Gear Reptile, or Metal Gear Gecko, whatever you prefer. This is a game, it's uh, quite literally, a, it's, it's what you think it is, it's Metal Gear, but you're playing as a reptile, so if you're into those kind of um, fake games that didn't come out on the PS1, this is kind of one of those. This was made in 12 days for a uh, stealth game jam by two lovely individuals. If you want to link to the free version of it, well, the free game, because it is literally a free game, you can find that in the description of this video video. I'm going to be playing through the first few missions, so you won't be seeing the entirety of the game. However, you will be seeing some of the basic mechanical uh, ideas that this game has going for it. It's very much like a the opening mission of a Metal Gear game. The only Metal Gear game I've actually played is Metal Gear One, Solid 1, um, but uh, that was a long, long time ago. I'm not the biggest Metal Gear person, but I do think that this is quite the achievement for a little game jam thing. It's, got, it's a bit rough around the edges, but it's got all the character and music and feel of a... Uh, Metal Gear Solid game. So let's just dive into here. As you can see, I've done the first four missions. Um, we're going to run through the first four missions, and it's going to give you kind of an idea of what this game has to offer. Uh, so initially, we get this lovely cutscene, and I'm going to shut up for the portion of it. Huh? Then I take over here. Koss, who is our player character, says, This is Koss, command. You read me. Loud and clear, Koss. What's the situation? I've managed to successfully infiltrate the Gecko facility. Uh, security seems tight. Understood, says command. You've been in the field for a while, and let's do a basic rundown of your mission objectives. As you mentioned in your briefing, the Gecko facility has been overtaken up by the Red Hawks. And they're an organization that specializes in terrorizing the gecko population. I'm aware that they've been on the offense against the geckos for as long as I'm, uh, as long as I can remember. And correct, they're going a step further, and they're going to take hold of n our nuclear armaments, says command. The parameters of the operation depend on you remaining quiet and out of sight. All equipment is. OSP on-site procurement, so you need to be crafty with anything you find. You sure, you'll you surely come across a variety of gadgets that will help you, and be sure to read the instructions on each when you pick them up. You can access your inventory by using the tab key and, ex and pause the game with escape. Uh, the facility is compromised, uh, or is comprised of eight sectors of which you'll need to sneak through in order to reach the nuclear sector. For this operation, avoid lethal force. Times are sensitive, and we don't want a bureaucratic maelstrom coming down on us. Got it, says Koss. I'll be sure to politely ask if them if I can pass through. Command says, seriously, Koss, you must uh, utilize all possible stealth elements in order to retake this facility and stop the nuclear launch. From this point on, maintain complete radio silence for the duration of the mission. Understood? Roger that. Okay, says Koss. I'm ready to go. Commencing Operation Gecko. Like, as, as you can see, as I was saying earlier, Covert Critter, it's Metal Gear. Now that we're in game, it's even more Metal Gear. So you move around with WASD, tab for your inventory, and you can kind of tab through. We have a banana peel. Someone was hungry and temporarily knocks out enemies uh, caught in its path. Uh, press left mouse button to place. Uh, we have a drone, controllable drone, that can be uh, retrieved when battery is depleted. And a trap gift box, a luring mystery box. What could be inside? We call that surprise mechanics. Not really, but uh, it's surprise for the enemy, that's for sure. So... We can now move up around. We can crouch with left mouse button. 
um, we can sprint, but if you're sprinting, the enemy will hear your footsteps. Um, and there's these lovely tutorial messages on the ground. Uh, holding up against the wall will pan the camera down so we can see what's going on. Simply leaving the wall and releasing the hold button will um, move us away. We also have a camo, so if there's a camera on us, we can go invisible. Um, although it doesn't make our smoke invisible, it's okay. Random smoke appearing out of midair is totally fine. Um, and then hold sh or tap shift, press shift, toggle run on and off. Um, if we are walking, uh, they can't hear us. If we are running, they can hear us. Over here on the side, we've got a green card to get through this door up here, of which we're going to go unlock. They're telling us about that. Um, and we're gonna move forward because I know that this area is safe, although they are tutorializing the stuff that I just went over, the camo and the looking uh, around walls using this and all that jazz. Um, I think that there's an area down. There might be some pickup over here. Uh, but, but, nope, there is not. Okay, so then we'll just move forward. Uh, and all of the missions are timed, so, you know, if you want to receive a good rating, uh, you might want to uh, be a little bit quicker. So there is a first camera that we're going to encounter right here, so we're going to quickly run around it, because fortunately it can't hear us, and we are going to dip down and through here. Uh, and then moving forward, I think it's just... Yeah, we can kind of go down this hallway, and there's some stuff down at the end. Yeah, there's a mealworm, which is your health up, but we didn't take any damage, so it didn't matter. And uh, keep an eye out for hidden items. That's what we just picked up. And that's mission one. So this game does have a good few missions in it uh, for a free thing. I mean, there, there's an, enough to do here, and I, I, I do recommend you try this game out, which is why I'm not going to stream, or not stream, this video is not going to cover the entire game. I do want you to go play this game yourself and leave it uh, feedback, because I think that this thing's real cool. Moving forward a little bit, I'm going to take this one a little bit slower. Music also does pretty well. So this is where we're going to start seeing actual enemy... Uh, support. We're going to have to deal with that. There's a camera there on the right, which I am apparently getting shot by. I thought I was out of it, but fortunately, no. It's okay. There is uh, food coming up here, so we will be able to heal, or should be able to. Okay, so there's a guard that we're going to need to acquire a key from. There he is. Go into stealth mode, and we're gonna hang out here for a moment and see where he goes. Okay, so our guard is around the corner. Stay in camo. Don't get spotted. Kind of hug this wall up here. He's gonna come back. He's camel. Wait for him. And he's got a card, as you can see, it's blinking on his side. I'm gonna steal it. Yoink. Yep. We have to walk away because he's gonna see us if we don't. And. See if I can throw out a banana peel. Nope, not quite. I'll just walk away. That'll do. Not bad. We got the card, and boom! Stage complete. These stages are quite short, but like, like I said earlier, this game was made by two people in 12 days for a game jam, so it's a kind of a small-scale project. All right. Mission three. Pick up an extra gift box. I haven't needed much gear yet. Since we're here, actually, uh, there's a little side route that we can go here, which has a locked door there and a camera. Wait for the camera to look away. Walk underneath it. Good thing they don't have those eyeball cameras that can actually see, you know. Of course, this area is optional. Do not need to come back here. Hug this wall until the camera looks away. They should have invested in higher field of view. Let's keep in stealth for the next little bit. There's going to be stuff coming up here. 
Gonna kind of come around the corner. And here we have a bad, baddie, baddie, baddie. Um, let's grab that banana peel and see if I can cause some chaos with it. Gonna go invisible while he spins around. See how this goes. Boink. All right, so. Uh-oh. This seems suboptimal. Thought that would last a little bit longer, but. All right, um, gift box it is then. Here, have a present, sir. Just trying to show off kind of the gadgets. He saw his box. It's a present for me. All right. Well, enjoy the confetti, brah. Moving on. Oh, I got the red card. I will say that there are a few spots in the game like this where something obstructs your view, even though you are in the kind of wall-hugging cam. This is a wee bit annoying not destructive. Certainly not game-breaking by any stretch. Right? Need that card. Ah, Jesus. Please, friendly fire. I don't think it works that way. I mean... <laughs> Slightly sus, but... Alright, let's wait for you to come back. Huh? A gift so nice, he wants it twice. I need that steel prompt. There we go. That was much easier the first time I did it, I will be honest. And that's another little mission done. So I think I'm going to back out to the main menu here and just say, try out Covert Qu Critter. This is a really cool little game jam project. I really love to see things like this. I, these kind of very, like you can tell that the people worked on this, who, who worked on this, put a lot of love into it. So I'm going to put the credits on screen for a second here and just say, if you want to check this game out, please go leave a comment on their itch.io page and tell them that I sent you. They are getting a lot of coverage from various different uh, media sources on this thing because it is really cool. But for me personally, if there's just one comment on their itch.io page that just says that you sent me, I'll be happy. As for me personally, if you want to support the videos like this and games you may or may not have heard of, uh, go over to my YouTube channel where I got a lot of this sort of stuff, as well as more Dwarf Fortress than you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. If you want to support these videos directly, you can do that via Super Thanks or my Patreon. And if you want to watch me while I play video games live on Twitch, you can go to twitch.tv slash blindirl, where I play generally a whole lot of Dwarf Fortress. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And it's way too hot here in Canada.